it's important for worship to be our lifestyle. Would you talk about that, Troy? You know, Jim, I'm the same way. I have to sort of this, this running conversation of God throughout the day. You know, Hebrews 13, 15 talks about giving the Lord a sacrifice of praise. And sort of an, un, an overlooked part of, of worship is the story of Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah. Uh, he was uh, the, he instructed the the army to sing the praises of God to win the battle against a mighty army, and you know praise disperses and confuses our enemies, brings the power of God into dire situations, and unleashes God's power in our life. And so that that's one of the ways we we can become uh, battle ready in the end times. Why is spiritual firepower critical during these yeah. perilous times? Yeah. Did that come through? <laughs> Thank you, brother. And I'll tell you what when you said to your staff this, uh, just a few minutes ago, I'm gonna tell you something new about boot camp, and I want the colonel, that's not new to me. The Lord spoke to me this morning and said you were gonna say that very thing. I just wanna tell you uh, we're on the same sheet of music. So uh, I'm, I'm hearing from the Lord as, w- as well as you are. But firepower, let's, let's uh, talk about firepower in real war. If you don't understand the weapon that you have with you, you don't understand to load it. You don't understand to fire it. You don't understand the doctrine behind it. You're not. You're going to get killed in combat. And so soldiers in in our boot camps in in real war learn early on how to do their weapons, how to fire their weapon, how to clean their weapon, how to use it, and many different types of weapons, not just rifles. You know, rocket propelled grenades, many many di- different types of weapons. And so it's the same way uh, in the Lord. You know, the Apostle Paul talks about the weapons of our warfare. What are those weapons? Well, number one, the weapon that we have in the center of our being, and we'll talk about center of gravity later, is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the ultimate weapon, and he resides inside of us. He is the power that we, uh, through the power of the Holy Spirit, that we we rely on in these end times. And so using that weapon of firepower is the power of prayer. You know, people don't understand. It's just not communicating with God, but it's using the word of God in prayer. When Satan attacked Jesus and kept him in the desert, Jesus Christ did not come in his own authority and power. He used the word of God. We need to be so adept as as loading our weapons with the Word of God, and so we can call down strongholds. We can come against strongholds of Satan. We can speak power. The Word of our testimony is powerful, and what Jesus Christ has done with us, the blood of the Lamb. There are so many things that we have as believers that are weaponized, that come against the forces of darkness, that the church, which has largely been asleep, is beginning to wake up, and pastors all over the country are asking me about our book and about these weapons. And I said, look, these weapons for are for all of us. We need to learn to use them, learn to use prayer, use worship, use the, the blood of Jesus, use the power of the spoken word and the word of God that we come against these strongholds and we tear down these strongholds in the name of Jesus Christ. That's why weapons are so important, especially right now, as the darkness of this world is getting darker. 